bit nervous. As you can't tell. It was an awesome trip. Yeah, it was excellent. Great haul. He's under, folks. He's under. Ten point unsuccessful. Got a little bit too close to this one. Oh my god. And I made it to Malaysia. <laughs> Legal in Malaysia. So happy to be here. So happy to be done sitting in this thing. So I just left uh, Singapore and I'm uh, here now in Kota Tinggi, Malaysia. 40 kilometers from the border. So I biked from downtown through Singapore. Got out of there in the morning. Probably got to the border around 10.30. Super hot morning. So yeah, it was good that I got out of there. And uh, really hot, so I decided to stop here. It was a good time in Singapore. I stayed with uh, this guy Johnson who runs a uh, sage house yoga slash Pilates slash meditation slash all around good time healing place. It was uh, really amazing. He's hooked me up with a place to stay out of nowhere just through this uh, Conscience Dance Singapore group that a friend had uh, made. So that was great. And uh, yeah, I just got some stuff organized in Singapore. And now I'm back in Malaysia on my way to the coast to hopefully find a sailboat to sail to Borneo. See how that works. So I had some really good conversations with Johnson and his friends. One of the things we did was this, is this meditation with this light called the Ajna light. Apparently it's like some like high frequency LED light that penetrates your brain waves and all sorts of different wavelengths. I don't quite understand. But anyways, during the meditation, I had this thought. So I had been talking about Vipassana recent and how I had like a serious pain in my chest for someone and it felt like I had been stabbed through my chest. And so I had this thought during the meditation that that is quite possibly the way I died in my previous life. It is bright here. It's pretty hot. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but I had that feeling, had that thought. We'll see. Or I guess we'll never really see. Or will we see? Had a pretty uh, mellow ride this morning, just uh, like 40 kilometers here to from uh, Kota Tinggi. Past some crazy uh, aggressive monkeys that I didn't want to hang out with for very long. Guys look scary. <laughs> garbage monkeys. Scary, scary garbage monkeys. Uh, it's a pretty uneventful ride through palm plantations, probably some rubber plantations too. And I got here to Bob's place, who I found on warm showers. He's an awesome guy who's sort of retired to this spot here. Uh, it's just like a sprawling garden with a boathouse and ponds and fish and waterfalls and sweet spot. So I'm just here for the day, and then I'll head over to, uh, or up the coast to Mersing, and hopefully find a sailboat to sail over to Tioman and eventually Borneo. Meet my friend Kat for Christmas. So stoked. Uh, we are now in Tanjung Sedili, in the district of Katatinggi, state of Johor, in southern Malaysia. Uh, I am known here as Bob. My full name is Muhammad Bahari bin Muhammad Jamli. I think it's too long for you. <laughs> So I was a government servant, resigned, and then I joined the bank, I also resigned, and I stay here to relax. This is my little paradise. I open up for warm shower guests, just to get to know each other. My main objective is to let them know that Islam is not a terrorist. It's a, it's a peaceful religion. That's it. Uh, those who say they are Islam, what do you call the ISIS, whatever, is they did not follow the teaching. Maybe they are Islam, they, they are Muslim, but they did not follow the teaching of Al Quran. That's it. To be, I, I love to accept guests for warm showers, especially because just to change views. You know, I think basically that's the main thing, and then for them to understand what we are. You know, this is a small village. To, to, to see the village, to meet the village people, to understand our culture. Basically, we are very peaceful people. Just leaving Bob's house here. Potentially my last day of cycling for a long time. A little bit, last full day of cycling at least. It'll be really good. We've got some longan.
big monkey here. Wild monkey eating white bread. <laughs> Classic. That's where I'm heading. First stop anyways. It's the plan. Chuman Island is the one in the distance. It doesn't look too far, uh, but it is far. It's probably about 40 kilometers away. Chuman Island. I made it to the uh, Sukhlaier resort in sailing club type place on the bicycle could potentially be the last time i ride that i doubt that's going to be the case i'm going to probably have to ride it around a little bit more and i may come back to get it if it works on the sailboat or i may leave it here i'm getting a bit ahead of myself though because i'm here because i'm going to check out a trimaran which i found online just randomly searching and got in touch with the owner of them he's got a ton of little 420s here and i think a couple lasers and a trimaran that he basically got built himself but apparently these ones are sort of trial models he hasn't been here for a couple years and i don't think he's sailed them that much so it's it's a bit of a who knows what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rig him up and give him a sail tomorrow and see how it goes. If it works tomorrow, I could be sailing the next day to Tioman Island. Tioman Island is, uh, I think it's about 40 kilometers, somewhere around there, 30 nautical miles away. So if these trimarans go as fast as I think they might, then I could probably get over there in about half a day, maybe even less. That's wishful thinking. I'm not sure what the wind is gonna do, so we'll see how that goes. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go take a look at these trimarans, see if I can find all the pieces and rig them up. I'm not gonna get out there tonight. The sun's already on its way down. At least they'll be able to see if the sails are all together and everything's good to go. Trimaran is hiding in there somewhere. <laughs> Yes, the yellow and red outriggers. And there's the hulls. Right in the middle there. I think they're up for the task. 600 nautical miles in that? Sure, why not? I think we can do it. 